Well, it's a defeat here at Rodney Parade against Newport. Just sum up that 90 minutes for us, please. Yeah, it was, it was a frustrating game, especially the first 25 minutes. I feel as though we just couldn't settle into the game, me included. Um, and then, you know, once we went 1 0 down, it was frustrating, but I felt as though that. Especially after um, you know the penalty that we kicked on, and then that gave us confidence. Especially just because just before it was uh, half time, so then we could come back in positive and then go for the next game, uh, next half. But um, and then second half, I feel as though we dominated. I feel as though that the only thing we didn't do is put the ball in the back of the net, and then it's just frustrating now. Both of their goals, so, you know, very direct goals. You know, a, a decent header, but they can be prevented, uh, especially. So um, I think that that's really frustrating. But we just need to work on, you know, getting the ball in the back of the net, really. I mean, is that such a, a disappointing thing for you as a goalkeeper when you do produce three or four fine saves that you are beaten by, like you say, two preventable goals that have just come from, you know, crosses into the box. Yeah, it is frustrating, but at the end of the day, I'll I'll save what I can save, and that's when the defenders can can help me out whenever they can, or I'll help them out. And it was just one of those days where, um, yeah, we we just lost focusness on some those two parts, you know, with the throw and then with the the cross into the box. But you know, we could just go again and hope that we could prevent it next time. And the head coach has come out and said, you know that. that that his half-time team talk changed when that goal went in, you know, to a fantastic finish from, from Ty Reese. Uh, but you've already mentioned it there. Was the, the disappointing thing from the team that you couldn't then go and kick on in that second half and put the ball in the back of the net to, to really go and, you know, back up what was a, a positive start to that second half? Yeah, massively. All the all the lads are, are gutted, really, because of how much we dominated. I felt as though, yeah, I had a couple of saves, but the amount of possession that we had, um, I think we just needed to, you know, be more clinical and you know just take the risk of having the shot. Uh, I think that we get into situations where all we need to do is just pull pull the trigger. Um, so yeah, I think that's something that we need to work on. Yeah. But it's a, a solid week for you guys now on the training pitch. You've shown so far that you can bounce back from you know disappointments like this. You showed it against uh, you know when we come back from the the Hartlepool game. The lads will be looking to really work this week on the training pitch and, and go again next weekend against Bristol Rovers. Yeah, massively, massively. Like we know what we need to do, and uh, I think a good week's worth of training will will do us good. Yeah. Does that help you as players then, knowing that you're going in off the back of this sort of game to have a full week then that you can fully recover from it you know you've got a full week then to focus on on that game yeah I think that it's it's good either way even if we had a game on Tuesday I think that that's the beauty of it that say if you don't have a good game on the Saturday it, the game's come in quick succession so if we did have a game on the Tuesday then we can show what we're what we're about but yeah I think that it's good that we've got the week of training so then we can you know focus on Bristol and then kick on with that and I, I, I've mentioned it there, you know, it was four games from being going into this game. This team has shown the resilience of being able to go on those mini runs. It's all about now regrouping, refocusing and then going again and trying to get a, a mini run going again, isn't it, next weekend? Yeah, 100%. Like, we'll just aim for a clean sheet and then hopefully, you know, we can we can rely on our strikers or anybody to, you know, show their bit of talent and put the ball in the back of the net. And then on a, a final note, you know, 547 fans travelling here to support the team. You know, just a, a message for those. Yeah, yeah, it's quality. Like the amount of fans that we did have. Like, I'm, I don't think we expected as many as what we we got. Um, no disrespect to them, but I just think that that was class, uh, especially when we scored and throughout the second half, uh, up, and up until the goal. But we was um, there was just loud and you know giving us that bit of confidence, especially because they was behind us, well behind me as well. Um, so yeah, I thought it was class. Oh!